We're in Rushville, Arkansas, fishing Lake Darnell. Fishing the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open, uh, stop two for the Collegiate Bass Series. It's time for our second stop of the season on the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. A record setting field of close to 500 anglers has traveled to Lake Dardanelle in Russellville, Arkansas to compete in the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. I'm on that. I'm on that. There we go. Another good one. The nearly 250 boat field will be going out in search of the best five bass limit they can catch as the nation's most elite anglers compete in this no entry fee event, paying out over $20,000 in prizes and contingencies, plus double points to count towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Give them a round of applause, 1472, Campbellsville University, Wyatt and Ridge, gotta go 1473 to take the lead. It's gonna lock in at 1474. Who can bring in the day one leading bag and set themselves up for a shot at victory on the final day? Find out next. Give me the boat, son! Oh, Woo! How about that one? That's our new leaders right there. Six, six. University of Montevallo, 24-96. The University of Montevallo wins its third straight title. Welcome into this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. On this show, we'll be bringing you day one coverage from the APCO Collegiate Bass Open at Lake Darnell in Russellville, Arkansas. No, it's a great tournament. They put it on every year. This is me and my brother's fourth year here in a row. So every time we come here, you know, we enjoy it. It's a great lake to have it on and uh, we're excited. The second stop of the season for the Association of Collegiate Anglers boasts a history-making field of college fishing's most elite anglers. A record-setting total of close to 500 anglers will be competing at Lake Dardanelle this weekend. The near 250-boat field will be competing for two full days, searching this Arkansas River fishery for the winning bites. Lake Dardanelle is a junk fisherman's dream. Uh, lots of shallow fishing, lots of shallow cover and especially this time of year when we're here in October, that's where almost the majority of the fish are. The AFCO Collegiate Bass Open is being contested during the fall of the year. The first cold fronts of the season are beginning to push through, dropping water temperatures overnight and sending bass on the move to feed up. The complete tackle box will be open to anglers as they can throw just about any bait from shallow to deep and get bites here this weekend. Game plan, we're running the bank. We're gonna have that troll motor on seven and we're just gonna be going at it we got three or four confidence baits. There's shad everywhere. So we're hoping just to key on some of those feeding fish up shallow. On the line this weekend, anglers are competing for valuable prizes and points. This no entry fee event will pay out over $20,000 in prizes and contingencies, including a power pole to the overall big bass. Along with the payouts and contingencies, teams will earn double points to count towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Here's a look at the top 10 in college fishing's only all-encompassing national ranking system entering the weekend's tournament. McKendry University is in first place with 8,220 points. Murray State trails just under 600 points behind in second place. In three-time defending title winner, the University of Montevallo is in third. 21 of the top 25 ranked teams are on hand to compete at Lake Dardanelle. Yeah, we're sitting in first right now for school of the year. Obviously that's the goal at the beginning of the year as a team is that's where we want to end up is in first. Um, there's a lot of season left, no doubt about it, but to be sitting in first now is is great. So Murray State's currently in second. We're doing really good. Um, you know, we're hoping for a big finish. We got some teams out there that are on some fish, so we're just praying that they bring in 10 for a good limit. So it's really early in the school of the year race. Uh, I feel really good about it though. Our team is stacked with some of the best anglers that I've gotten to personally know and fish against and with. So we're sitting pretty good early in the season. We got to get up to that top spot. And I'm not sure if it's possible here at Dardanelle to get that done, but I know we're going to do our best to get as close as we possibly can. Time now for our first break in the show. Coming up next, we'll go out on the water to bring you coverage from day one of the AFTCO Collegiate Bass Open. Keep it tuned right here for more.
Welcome back to the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series and day one coverage of the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. We start our on the water coverage with number one ranked McKendree University. Maxwell and Harmon just voted their second keeper of the day. Moving up a little bit, a little better. Seems like this little change and how far into the grass we're flipping seems to be making a difference. Hopefully we can get three more here and fill out our limit. Oh, I think the mats on this rock are the warmest mats on the lake or in this bay right now. Just the combo of the two. And I think with the cold front coming through yesterday into last night, a lot of these fish are gonna suck up under the mats. I also think with the wind, a lot of people are gonna be throwing a reaction bait today. And the fish under the mats are gonna be less affected by, by that, you know. There we go. Another good one. Everyone's going up. Probably don't need a tag on this one though. From the number one ranked team in the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia, we go now to the second ranked team in the country, Murray State University. Is that even a keeper? Oh yeah. It might be 14. I'll get under bunk boys and make my time. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. You gotta love a weightless bait. I had to reach I had to like redo my drag. <laughs> yeah, was it was it loose? Oh bad. Breaks us throwing that. Please be fortunate. Come on. Yeah. Is it keeper? 14. He is. Yeah. It's a cold pack. One down. One down. Four more to go. Well, so far this morning, we've been uh, just going through these little creeks. I've been flipping. He's been throwing a frog through here. We've got one keeper so far, and we've caught a little short. Um, I think this cool weather might have messed him up a little bit. The water has dropped quite a bit. Uh, probably about eight degrees or so. Um, I think we're about to make a little move, go do some river stuff and try to catch some spots, go ahead and fill out our limit and get that fine big one. We got plenty of time left, so we never know what's gonna happen. And you gotta keep your head down, keep fishing. Teams are getting bites all across Lake Dardanelle this morning. Let's check in now with anglers from third ranked University of Montevallo. We're back in kind of community hole area, I think, on this, this body of water. We're back in the Illinois Bayou. And uh, starting on a shallow pad field, in practice we had a couple decent bites and one keeper back here and just left the area alone. We weren't in here very long and already got several bites. Um, I got most of mine on a swim jig. Brennan got one flipping a Texas rig. But uh, we're pretty much just chasing an early morning, potentially shad bite. I know there was some shad in here in practice, um, but really just looking for that reaction bite this morning with the swim jig. and. Brennan's, uh, we're doing a one-two punch. Brennan's flipping these pads while I work a swim jig through them. So I'm kind of letting him do his thing. Uh, I'm looking for the bigger clumps here, the pads. Uh, I think with it being cold, maybe, maybe they moved out of the little bit shallower stuff in the middle out to this little bit of deeper water. Uh, I think this down by the bases of the clumps is where I'm gonna get, or a higher percentage of me getting a bite, so I'm focusing on the uh, the clumps and uh, the bigger sections of these pads, the isolated sections of all these pads. And uh, I, hope, I hope it works out. Uh, it, it just makes the most sense to me. But uh, after the first bite, I think we'll, we'll kind of know what's going on back here. Woo! Shoot at the boat. Little guy. 
That is not a keeper bass out here on Dardanelle. But I wish it was. That's a good sign right there. Finally got a bite. Not proud of it, but uh, we got to take what we get, right? Uh, what we're doing today, uh, back home we have a ton of grass in our lakes. And this is something that I've actually gained a lot of confidence doing is fishing the swim jig and lily pads. But one thing I want to mention is um, in practice it was this way too, but when you're reeling that swim jig over these pads, you're getting them to react to it looking up and they can hear that coming over their heads. But a lot of times, like especially today, just because of the cold front, um, I don't think they're gonna be too reactive and wanna come up and eat it. So I'm dropping it into any hole, every like third hole that I bring the swim jig over, I'll drop it into. And, uh, and that's where I think I'll probably end up getting a bite. So sometimes you just have to, you have to make them react, but then make it easy for them to eat it too. Cause you know, when it gets cold like this, they're not always willing to move like they usually are. There we go. There we go. Brendan. I'm here. <laughs> How about that? How about that? All right. Hey, Blair, talk about that confidence one more time. We'll hey, take that untamed tackle apex jig. Come on, man. Come that on. is, that's a good one for Dardanelle right there. Oh my gosh. Pop that out. Well, I was just saying, just getting a bite in general is hard to do out here on Dardanelle. And Keepers are hard to come by. That's more, uh, than, that's more than a keeper. Yeah, we, we only got six keepers in practice and obviously it shook, shook some off, but uh, we'll take that every day of the week right there. Oh, that felt great. Welcome back out to Lake Darnell in Russellville, Arkansas for day one of the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. Seventh ranked University of North Alabama just landed a really nice keeper bass and is hoping to box up a few more before the end of the day. And uh, we made a long run this morning and uh, we caught several shorts. I mean, just, I mean, a couple inches off of 14 inches and it, it just, you know, it, we had a spell there where it was just dry, we didn't catch nothing and it just, we, we decided to run back kind of closer to the boat ramp. Oh, God. And uh, when we come up here to this bridge, Ben mm -hmm. caught a really, really solid, really, really solid fish. And it, uh, we still got about four hours left of fishing, so we're going to give it everything we got. So. I can't. Ah. Okay. okay. Ooh. Thank you. Hey, Ma. Did it break your line? Yeah. That's my fault. I'll go grab it. I'll go grab it. All right, dude. Thank you, keep. He touches. Number two. Number two. We should get a bite here. There's, there's one. From the seventh ranked team in UNA, we go on over to 19th ranked Wabash Valley College who's looking to fill out a limit and secure valuable points. This cold front came through, kind of switched things up a little bit. The wind's blowing a lot harder than it has been. Uh, but I think it's gotten want, got them wanting to bite. We caught more fish today than we did all the practice. And uh, it's, been, it's been going all right, just hard to find good size right now. But uh, we're just fishing our hearts out, trying to make as many casts as possible. We currently got one, and as the day progresses, it's a uh, getting a little more stressful and a little more stressful. I know we need five in a bad way. So we're just gonna keep putting our heads down. There we go. Good boy. Nice. That one should bite. That one might go. That's more what we're looking for right there. That's why we came back here. Seen three of them out there kind of crawling around the bottom together on a rock. Camera over them, they both were doing somersaults over it. And this one, this one got on it. So. It's time now for our final break in the show. 
When we return, we'll go back to Lake Dardanelle State Park for day one weigh-in at the AFTCO Collegiate Bass Open. And before we go, professional angler Jason Christie introduces us to one of his favorite items from AFTCO. Hey guys, Jason Christie here. Elite Series Angler, you know, one of the things that I take real important on the water is just uh, protecting my skin. I was younger, really didn't pay a lot of attention to it. You get older, you get a little bit smarter. And uh, one thing about AFCO is pretty much across the line, uh, it's all about sun protection. And the JC hoodie, you know, over the years is my favorite. And, and I actually helped kind of design the shirt. One thing I wanted was a roomy hood. You know, I didn't want to be restricted, uh, you know, over my mouth or anything like that. So when I'm fishing, you know, I'm protected here, uh, not only from the sun, but you know, like the bugs, everything off the back of my neck. Um, if I'm running down the lake, you know, all I got, if I'm gonna jump down and run, I zip up. I can use the hat overlap here. And literally 70 miles an hour, I'm going down the lake. One thing that's kind of overlooked on the shirt is the thumb holes. Um, you know, if you're fishing and all of a sudden your sleeves start working their way up, you know, you can get sunburn, bugs on you with the thumb loop. And the cool thing is, is once you put it in, you don't even know it's there. So just a real comfortable shirt, you know, like it protects you from the sun, has um, like a stain fighter where even if you get something on it, it pretty much repels and if it does get in the material it washes off real easy so that's the reason it's my favorite shirt look at all these boaters you've got here our largest um, boaters registered for this tournament ever so the collegiate um, tournaments in town and it's actually one of our absolute favorites. The AFCO Collegiate Bass Open is being contested at Lake Darnell in Russellville, Arkansas. This year's event features a record-breaking field of close to 500 anglers. Nearly 250 boats have traveled from as far away as California and Michigan to compete here this week. This is one of our, my board's favorite tournaments actually to sponsor. We love having the college kids. We love to see this age out in the outdoors and know that this is our next generation. So one of our favorite near and dear to our hearts. So for it to be the largest tournament this year that we've had with the Collegiate just makes our hearts happy. Back at Lake Darnell State Park, the full field is returning back to weigh-in to show off their day one catch. Teams are looking to bring in their best five bass that will have them near the top of the leaderboard. Wyatt and Ridge with five from Campbellsville. 1287 is what's needed to take over the lead. You get over 10 pounds, you're going to be up there near the top 10. 1472, new leaders, you'll have a big fish you want to try. It's 581. If they say no on big fish, pull them out, hold them up for the camera, stay right behind the scales, guys. Wyatt Pierman and Ridge Rutledge from 20th ranked Campbellsville University bringing a limit weighing 14.72 pounds to take over first place at the moment. Today was a pretty good day. It started off hot and uh, we had them about 11 o'clock and uh, made a, two more pulls at the end of the day and left them biting and uh, got out of there and hope we can do it tomorrow. After the day it felt pretty good. We had a plan and went with the plan and it worked out for today and hopefully tomorrow we can do the same exact thing. Murray State, Archer, and Jackson. Got to go 1473 to take the lead. It's going to lock in at 1474. Pull him out. New leaders. You have a big bass you want to try. It's got to go 581. No, no big bass. Stay right there. Stay behind the scales. Hold them up. Archer Smith and Jackson Kulioff from second-ranked Murray State University weigh in 14.74 pounds to take the day one lead at the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. And here's a look at the top 10 following day one of competition at Lake Darnell when the scales close. Murray State, Carson Newman, and the University of Montevallo all have multiple teams in the top 10. Murray State has the best showing on day one with teams in first and sixth overall. Man, it was awesome, dude. We uh, we fished hard. We fished with the trolling motor on 100, and we did not let off the gas today. We fished wide open. We had about, uh, I think it was 1474. We feel good. The fish we found, it was a completely new pattern than what we had. But, I mean, I'm ecstatic. Um, 
We ran all new water and it just worked out. So we're hoping they're still there tomorrow. And with that, we'll conclude our day one coverage of the AFTCO Collegiate Bass Open. On the next episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, we'll bring you day two action from Lake Dardanelle in Russellville, Arkansas, where a winner will be crowned and many valuable prizes and double points will be awarded. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. This has been a Careco TV production.